A new Tampa Bay Business Journal hits newsstands today, and editor Alexis Milner is here to tell us about the week's big stories. Good morning, happy Friday to you. Hi, Dia. Always good to see you. And you. We've got a really interesting story this week about the founder of the Columbia Restaurant, Richard Gonsmart. He really has the Midas touch when it comes to restaurants. Well, so many of our viewers know about the Columbia. It's been around since 1905, and Richard Gonsmart, the fourth generation of the family that owns the Columbia, recently started uh, opened up Ulele, which is an instant hit, and then recently bought the Goody Goody Burger brand. And you might think this is sort of part of a midlife crisis that he's doing all these things, energy. But it turns out in our cover story profiling Richard that it's only really because he has time to work on these things. It turns out that when he really took control of the Columbia back in the late 90s, it was suffering some issues financially. And it's a really great profile of, uh, of a really interesting and energetic uh, community-minded Richard Gonsmart, and I think it's a great read. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Greenlight Pinellas. Supporters were hoping that it was going to move the Bay Area into a more modern transit system, but it failed it miserably. It got, well, miserably trounced, and I think that's sort of really what shocked me. And I talked to one of my colleagues who lives in northern Pinellas about, you know, somebody who I thought would vote for it, and his whole contention was that there wasn't quite enough where he lived, uh, it, it wouldn't have been effective. He was willing to take on the tax burden if it was more uh, applicable to his daily life. And so I think there's some work to do. Certainly now they're looking at Hillsborough and, you know, we've talked about how the business community is very focused on whether or not uh, they can attract business with a modern transit system. And so, you know, again, it's a bit of a blow, but for those who support it and, you know, credit to those who uh, said, hey, yeah, this isn't working. Board, yeah. Exactly. All right. Let's talk about uh, St. Pete College students there will now be required to work with local businesses in order to earn a bachelor's degree in technology development and management. It sort of seems logical though. Well, you know? it does. And St. Petersburg College, we're always on this sort of a connected to business and being aware of where to facilitate the needs of business. And now they're requiring students in their technology programs and their management programs to work directly with businesses as a, to, to graduate. And it's really an indicative of a growing trend to get professional kind of real life experience. And I think it's great. I mean, I mean, working with you know established businesses and sometimes businesses can learn a lot from younger people who bring a fresh set of eyes absolutely especially with social media especially with social media and then these programs you know a practical world life experience you you, you leave school that much farther ahead so absolutely. credit to SPC great stories thank you always good to see you you too and for more business journal headlines check out the money section of the ABC Action News mobile app